Peggy 12. Hello, I'm Julian Gollop. Welcome to the Ghost Recon Shadow Wars Gameplay Video 1. I'm going to take you through one of the missions later in the game. We've got two ghosts in this mission. First one is Banshee. She's a recon class. And we've got Duke, who's a commando class. Our objective is to get to this door in the end of the corridor here and open it. If we look around, we'll see some enemies above us, some to the left, and there's some below. Fortunately, our guys are armed with some pretty heavy weapons. It's a turn-based game, so I'm going to select Banshee here. I'm going to move her up to attack some enemies on the left. The green squares indicate all the positions that I can actually shoot from, so I'm going to move to this position. Select attack for a choice of two targets, this one or this one. The bar above the enemy's head indicates possible damage. Red is certain damage and the orange part is possible damage and the green part is what he's going to be left with. So let's select attack and see what happens. Okay, he's taken 12 hit points damage, he's half dead. Banshee has finished moving, so I'm going to move over and select you. Again, the green squares show where I can attack from. I'm going to bring Duke up near to Banshee. Select attack. Now, if I select this target, there's a possibility that I'm going to kill him. The orange part of the bar above the enemy's head ind indicates possible damage, so he may stay alive. This guy, I don't stand a chance of killing. The red lines indicate possible return fire. I'll show you what that means in a bit. Let's just go ahead and attack with Duke. Ah. Unfortunately, the enemy remained alive. And I got return fire from both of them. This is very important tactically to take into account return fire when you're attacking. At the moment, it doesn't matter too much because my guys are very tough. And Duke is taking just a little bit of damage. Mentioned nothing yet. So let's end the turn and see what the enemies are going to do. Okay, it looks like they've noticed us. A couple of enemy assault troops moving up next to the turrets. Another assault moving in close to reveal Banshee. The other one attacking Banshee. Normally Banshee cannot be attacked directly because of her camouflage. But if an enemy moves next to her, she becomes revealed. Okay, we've got the gunner drones moving up to the south. Enemy commando. And above us again, another enemy commando unit. Some assaults. Here we've got two melee drones, which are very nasty in close combat, so we don't want to let these guys get next to us. And finally, we've got one more assault over to the left. Basically, we're surrounded. First, let's deal with the immediate threat. Let's we'll take this guy out. I'm going to just move Banshee a little bit more towards our objective and attack from there. She's at close range, she does a lot of damage and kills in one hit. That's excellent. Now, Duke is free to launch his attack over here. I select Duke. I'm going to switch to his secondary weapon, which is a shoulder-launched missile launcher. I can't move so far in attack. And if I move here, not to attack, I can launch an attack on the line here. It's an area effect weapon, so I should be able to affect three targets. Let's see what happens. Excellent. I've taken out one of the turrets, and two of the defending guards are seriously injured. See what the enemy can respond with. 